guys. Today we're going to make some red sorrel jam. All right. Now I will have this recipe in the description down below for everybody. So that way it will be easy for you to uh, write down. But you're going to need a big pan. Two and a half cups of already um, cut up red sorrel calluses. You're going to need four cups of water, and I'm going to add that now. Here's my four cups of water. Next thing you're going to need is one cinnamon stick, and I'm going to get that out because I got my cinnamon, and you're going to need allspice, and it's going to be a uh, one half teaspoon. So I'm going to get that next. Oh, cinnamon sticks. Let me tell you what, just opening this jar, I'm like, oh, it's so good. Okay. Got my cinnamon stick. Now I like to break it in half if I can. Okay, I can't break it. Normally I like to break it in half. I'm not that strong today. And then I'm gonna get the allspice in there. All right, one half tablespoon or teaspoon, TSP. And you're going to bring all this to a boil. All right, guys. I have it to the boil I want. Everything's been stirring in really good. And you can tell it's almost there because the calluses need to turn translucent a little bit. So I'm just going to keep stirring this. And wait until some more of the red sorrel is uh, pigment has been taken out. Now I did go ahead and get a strainer with a little pot, so you do have to strain this out. And any liquid that falls in there, I can add it back in. Okay, I have it to where I want it. So what I'm going to do next now is I'm going to go ahead and get as much of the red sorrel out of here and hopefully I'll find the cinnamon stick and I'll put it in here and then that way this pot here anything that drains I'll be able to add back into the big pot so I'm gonna go ahead and get this all drained out okay guys found out it was just easier to leave it in the other pot <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, Add the sugar. I do have the temperature back up. And here's the part where you just want to make sure you're stirring. Get that sugar all dissolved. Now the leftover um, callus petals from the red sorrel. Um, I put that in my compost because I am going to go ahead and give that to my chickens. And so here you just want to wait and make sure, bring it back up to a boil and make sure you continuously stir, get all that sugar dissolved. And then I'm going to be adding my Sure gel or pectin. I got two bags. And once this comes back up to heat, that's what I'm gonna be doing. And in the meantime, you want to go ahead and get your water bath water started heating because you will be using that to get everything sealed. Okay, got it back up. I'm gonna turn this down to low. And now I went ahead and I put my pectin in the glass jar here that had the sugar 
This is two boxes of pectin going in. And you want to continuously stir. And you want to make sure this all gets dissolved. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the burner off. And then I'm going to let this cool a little bit as I'm stirring. And I'm going to go ahead and get my jars ready and get them all processed and um, for the uh, to pour the liquid in and the lids ready. And then I'm going to put them into the water bath. So stay tuned. Okay, let me move that. All right, got my everything's being processed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just show you guys one can. I'm going to go ahead and ladle this out. Let's get a little closer. And just take your time. There's no rush. And you want to make sure you leave enough headroom. I got a couple different size jars because I'm not sure. I, I these jars are a little bit smaller than the last ones I used, but there you go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these processed. Okay, I actually had to grab extra jars, so I do not recommend what I'm about to tell you. But I had to pour them in without processing the jars, and I ran out of lids, so some of my lids are. I don't recommend that, um, but as a lot of you know right now, canning supplies are hard to come by, um, so I'm going to do what I got to do. Um, more than likely, this stuff will probably, um, the ones that I had to run and do real quick, I'll probably keep here at the house. Um, but it's starting to boil, so I'm going to go ahead and get these guys inside the water bath. All right, got those jars in. Um this jar i guess i didn't tighten down it automatically who still hot filled up with water this little guy has um he's a tiny one i'm going to keep him in the fridge once it cools down i'm not going to water bath this one um it'll still you know um be good it's just i don't have any room any more room in the water bath this one unfortunately this jar was a no-go so and that's some of the problems you'll you'll have when you're uh, doing this stuff is when you go to use something really quick because you don't have time to process it, it can happen. But once it cools down, I'll show you what happened with this one. Um, but yeah, this one's going to be a toss. All right, guys, timer is done. I got the heat turned off. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for like five minutes let it cool down a little bit before I grab the cans out there we go and then just to give you an update the little one the top hasn't or sorry the little one the top hasn't popped yet it's still hot though this did pop which I was surprised but this is the one that got the water in it so I'm gonna keep this one aside I'm gonna see um, obviously I'll probably have to put it in a fridge if I keep it, but I'm, I'm still waiting for it to cool down. It's still really hot to the touch. So, all right, now I'll come back to you once I get these guys out. All right, guys, got them all pulled out. I've already had two pop before I could, uh, video it. And now we just sit and wait for the rest of them to pop and then I'll show you everything once it's all cooled down, solidified. So it'll probably be by tomorrow. I'm gonna let these sit out for a while. Here is the red sorrel jam, all set. I have all the other ones put up right now. Um, I did have one that was still kind of runny. So we're just gonna use that as a marinade or a topping for some ice cream or pancakes, but it's all good. So that's how easy it is to make your red sorrel jam. And like I said, I'm going to put the uh, description 
of the recipe and the ingredients in down below. Okay, see you on the next one, guys. Hey, guys, if you like that video, hit that like button, remember that bell, and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.